What's up guys, Hyatt here, and in this video, it's a different kind of video than usually. In this video I wanted to talk about how to improve your programmatical thinking, or yeah, your possibilities to think with the brain, and solving problems, seeing... basically seeing more than the restraint is shown, which is very important. Uh, it's hard to explain uh, what you're supposed to see. Uh, but it's very important to see things as you're programming, especially when you're trying to solve a problem. Because sometimes you find it and then you think, oh crap, that was so easy, for example. Uh, and it took me like two hours to fix it. And to improve that seeing problems straight and not losing time and thinking better, I think games like, for example, this one, and they're not getting paid paid for this if you might think so. Uh, I bought it yesterday for about a buck, so currently on Steam sale, uh, it's about a buck right now, maybe yeah, 80 cents in, in euro cents, or something like that, it's pretty cheap and it's totally worth it. I played uh, the first part of it and now I'm at the second one, and I wanted to demonstrate what it's good for when you're programming, because I think it's it's really nice. I also have stuff like this on my mobile phone, so whenever I'm somewhere I do these kind of games where you have to think or use your brain or basically be... be attentive or... yeah, you have to have the attention to what you're doing. So I'm gonna demonstrate this really quick, so what this game is about... Uh, it gives you a quick tutorial here, so we have uh, hexagon cells which are connected to each other and we have uh, numbers in some of them which tell you if they're connected to basically um, if they're connected to blue ones and the blue ones are hidden behind the orange ones and also uh, some of the black ones and here's a demonstration. So, for example, this one says zero. It means it's not connecting to a blue one. That's why I hit right click to it and unlock two of these, which tell me that they are connected to two blue ones. And what does that mean is that I have to left click for this one, these two, because it's connected to two blue uh, ones. And I have probably to click either this or this, uh, for this one because it's also connected to two blue ones. So there's also information in here but not in this level where it tells you if the blue ones are connected between each other so if it would be this one or they are not connected so it would be this one. So in this case we don't know yet but we know that this one has got three. And there we go. And this gun has got one, this one has got zero, that's, uh, sorry, that was a mistake. You have to right click these. And now we can see that this one is connected to one, blue. So the rest should be, uh, black ones. So right click these. And now we can see that this one is connected to three, this one is connected to one, but this one is connected to zero, so I know that this is a black one. And this one is connected to two, so it's probably, because this one is also connected to one, it's probably this one, the blue one, and this is the black one then. And this also means that this one is a black one, because this one says two, and it's connected to two. Like, these, I hope you can see the mouse on the recording, like, these ones are meant. And here we have four, so one, two, three, four. These are blue this one is not because this is a zero and this is a one which means this one is meant and this one is connected to just one that's why these two are also black this one is connected to two and this one is connected to one but this one is connected to zero that's why this one is a black one this one is connected to nothing that's why this one should also be a black one and once again this one should be a blue one and we're done and I could have gathered the third one but yeah, I fucked it up because I left clicked uh, where I wanted to right click. And going over to the next level, let's uh, skip a few levels. I've done a couple of these here already. Let's go to two and one, which is more interesting. So here also, oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Here also numbers outside of this. So numbers outside the grid show the number of blue hexes in that column. 
So this one means probably... Don't even know what this means. Uh, of blue hexes in that column. So in the complete uh, column here, there are two blue ones for this one, 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 and here are three connected ones in this column. So it's hard to tell, but it's probably something with this one. Okay, I was wrong. I don't know if this count as uh, connected, but then it's probably like this. So I guess this one was a wild guess then, because I thought these should be connected. And this is not connected, but I guess this is still connected. Uh, yeah, never mind. So yeah, we know that this one has one and it says three, so it's probably this one. This one has got four connected ones, and that's why it's probably this one it must be. And it's either going here or here. That's not for sure right now. Uh, I right clicked it, I'm so stupid. But this one is... And this one has got three, so... It could be either this one, or it could be... Uh, one of these. We already have this one. I don't know if it does mean that there is nothing here, that there is no number. But say this one says it's not connected, so it's probably a black one right here. <laughs> there we go. And because this one has three, these are blue. And because these are connected, this one is the one, and this one is one, and there we go. One, two, three. Mm, one, one. This one has got three already, so it's like this. This one has got three, so it could be this one. But it's not obvious that it's this one. But I think that this one is blue because this one has got one and this one has got three. And there's only one blue here, so this one is not blue and this one is neither. This one has got one, so this one is black. This one has got one, that's why this one is uh, like this. We don't know if this one is blue or not. Uh, we know that this one is not blue because they are not connected. Uh, Oh, so see, um, I just bought the game, so I'm not quite thinking well how this works. I have to concentrate very much on what it says. So whenever I click it, I know, oh damn, that was the problem. Uh, this one has a one, so it's obviously meant uh, to be connected to this one. So this one is black. This one is also black, and there we go. Uh, one, two, three. This one is one, two, three. This one isn't. One, two, three. This one's black. One, two. One, two, three. This one has got two, so it's this one. One. Um. Now it's hard to decide which one could be the right one here. There must be hints. I'm I'm confident about that. This one is a black one. And. <sighs> All right, I clicked this one, so it's obviously a black one. One, two, black, one, one. And it's not this one. This one is, and this one is two, this one is not, and this one. See, I'm looking at these two, and I think this one is the third, but we already have this one. Uh, what was it? Right, this one is not. One, two, there we go. Okay, at least four. And for the next, uh, level, basically, these are like under levels, or what do you call them? Uh, for the next level, it requires me to have a particular amount of, um, okay, so you can click these and see what this meant. So this one means it's four for this uh, row. So you need an, an amount of uh, points to unlock the next level. 
that's what I was saying. So here it can be, oh crap, three here, two here, three, five here, hmm. three here. So you have to think of where to start. We have three around this one somewhere and they are not connected. I don't know if I have to make a wild guess which of these four is the first blue. But as they are not connected it should be like... It can be these and this one, it can be these and this one, it can be... It's co it can't be both of these because then they are all three connected. So it's most likely like... Okay, we got this already. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Three on this, on this one. Hmm. Five here. Oh wait. How does this go? Two here. So our oh, three of these. Oh, that told me. Uh, told me. I mean, uh, we have five on this row, but we only have two on this one. Means it's three here. Okay, I missed that out. Four. Wait, three. No. Three here. Eight. Not an easy game. One here, okay, that doesn't tell me anything. That one, neither. Okay, it's one here and two here, so it must be this. Okay, interesting. Okay, it, it must not be. It was a stupid uh, thing. One shit. See, it's not easy even if it's one of the easiest levels so far. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna suck at this one. It can be this one. Okay, it's not. If it's not, then it's these. And it's this one then. Two here, so one here, so it's not this one, but this one. One, two. Two here. Two, we have this unlocked. Two, one, two, one. Two here, so still these. One, two, three, this one's not. One, two. These are not. One. One. No! Oh, oh crap! I said no in the same time I pressed uh, left click on this one. These are... It's very much about paying attention to the game. Mm, three here, so this one's got one. Here's one. Here's three. One, two, three. Or here. Two. Probably this one. <laughs> One, two, three, one of these, but this one this one's got two, so it's not this one. It's not this one. This one's got two, so it's not this one. Alright. This one's got two, one, two. And this one one, two, three. Two, but this one this one has this one. And then this one is not, and neither is this one, but this one, and this one. There we go. Uh, now it's very... Okay, this is easy. <laughs> uh, this... What? Oh, right. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought two here. Okay, never mind. Two here, so this one is not... See, I already have four mistakes. That's not a full full point amount of points. Three, two, five, one, two, three, four. So let me activate. What does this show me now? Four means 
these are. This one's got three already. Two, two, two. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Let me go back to the menu. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty fun game. I mean... I usually play CS, but this is also a very fun game. It has some relaxing background sound, as you can hear. So yeah, as I said, uh, if you want to improve your brain and attention and get better at programming, then games like these. It, it doesn't have to be this one, but I bought this one and it's really cheap. I must say, below one buck. There is also another version, I don't know, it was uh, more expensive, so I didn't buy that one, I just bought this one. Uh, yeah, if you want to train your brain, then this is an option that you can use, and yeah, maybe you're interested in me having a kind of gameplay channel, or the German people, maybe you are interested in me having a gameplay channel, then I could make this. Tell me in the comments what you think about this one, and maybe you have the game already, and tell me what you think about the game, if you have it. Does it uh, help your brain? Did it, did it help out or did it not? I don't know. I hope it does for me. Obviously you can tell that I sucked at some points, I wasn't very paying attention, and maybe I get better at that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.